In this video, you're going to learn how to add an admin to a Facebook page that you have created. So to do that, you want to come up to settings in the top right hand corner. And then you want to come down into page roles in the left hand sidebar. And it's in here that you can really assign a new page role. And this is very simple to do. You just pop in their email and then you select the different type of page role. And you can do this uh, to add colleagues to your Facebook page to share the workload with them of managing the page. You can add in the business owner. If you have created a page for them and you want to hand it back, then you can assign them as an admin and then they can later remove you as an admin if they wanted to as well. And you can also add in freelancers if they're going to help you uh, run ads or respond to your comments or even just straight up to to advertise on your Facebook page. So there are six different options and you can select them here and you can even get a short description once you select an option underneath about what it does. So it's, it's quite clear on what the different options are. But if you do want to see them side by side, you'll see there's a little learn more section here at the top, which will bring you to the Facebook help center. And then you can see a side by side comparison here of the six options and exactly what they allow you to do. Now, for the most part, an admin, if you were handing a page back to a business owner, you just make them an admin, then they could remove you as an admin. Um, and if you're working with someone as a freelancer to kind of help manage your page, you could select them as an editor and then they can even begin to edit the page itself delete posts, go live, um, or you can start to restrict those options. So as you can see, admin has the most amount of rights. And then as you move down, the, the rights become less and less. So for example, analyst, they can just view your insights uh, for your Facebook page and see you published uh, as the page. So they can give you, that's a really an analyst role. And maybe this is only something that's going to exist in a much bigger company where they're actually just analyzing your page and maybe many other pages as well. So it's incredibly simple to add these page roles in, but it is important to know how to do it because you can really share that workload as soon as possible and get a number of different people working on your Facebook page. So you can really grow it much faster two heads are always much better than one. So come into your settings section under page roles and add in any colleagues or freelancers that you may need to add in in order to help you out.